What's going on guys, Zfreeze out here and we're back with some more buildings. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this day, but it's finally come. We have got a nice fresh map. As you can see, there is nothing done here. And we are at the eye that never closes, which is right here, if you want to follow on with this build. And there is a speed build at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around for that. And I will do some little tips and tricks along the way. It's not a full tutorial. But it's hopefully just give you guys a rough idea on how to build one of the one something like this at least. So it will get you there. But first of all, I'm going to show you this new creative menu that I've got. Uh, this is a plugin that's on computer, so if you have a PC, I highly recommend using this plugin. As you can see, it's got everything laid out for you. All the building pieces are all set in the DLCs, so it's all nice and separate, easy to get to just need to scroll down and grab it and also with the free building little tick on here you can pretty much grab anything and you can place it down as many times as you want and you don't have to go get another one it doesn't fill up your inventory and you just keep placing stuff down so there's that uh, we'll pick these back up I'll just destroy them but yeah that thing is so handy and if you put it down into your bar as well as you can see there's none leaving the bar and I'm just placing them down so it, it's just so handy and you can tick that back off and everything goes back to normal but having that free building ticked on is fantastic so that's that I wanted to show you guys that because that's really important it's helped me out so much uh, first off we're going to get right into this map room here so we've got like a little map room outside pretty much a public map room it's not blocking anyone from getting up there but as you can see you can walk right through the map room uh, if you go on to the seven circle you'll see one of the admins this is one of his designs well not exactly his design but his idea of walking up the map room you can also shoot arrows through the map room as well so you can imagine a few nice defensive spots that you could sit under a map room and start shooting someone about the teleport or whatever camping goodness you want to do you could do it through a map room quite well so keep that into mind like you never know when you hit a map room there might be someone under it a little troll waiting for you to hit the button but that is the map room I hope you like it I enjoyed building it uh, if you have a look at the speed build it will be in that too so make sure you check that out as you can see here we have uh, fence stacked the doorways so we've got quite a few fence stack in there and we have also fence stacked the side here which you can't really see here because it's lined up beautifully but if we go on the outside you could probably get a rough idea it is fence stacked all the way out to here so it's about I'd say three foundations thick maybe two and a half around about there all the way it's all fence stacked all the way out here and you'll see that on the speed build as well so make sure you check that out but if we come in here there's two elevators now of course if you're getting raided the elevators come up and you put hatch doors on the ceiling stacking up here the ceiling stacking is spread apart nicely so you can get four hatch doors on there not all feel it still not all ceiling stacking you can fit hatch doors on so make sure you do it properly and you'll be fine but yeah, if you get raided, elevators come up. But having two holes to come down while you're getting raided, just in case someone is handing off the hatch door and not letting you out, is pretty necessary. So always have two doors when you're building something like this. So as you can see in here, it's like the little foyer. We've got the two elevators here. Uh, we've got some nice little plants under the stairs there with a doorway. If you want to store something under there, would be good. But if you come into here, this is the main area, as you can see. We've got the kitchen up here. Beautiful little kitchen there. Uh, if we come down here, we have got the armor's bench. So there's a standard one, there's an improved one. And as you can see, there's plenty of room in those rooms for boxes. Uh, there's the carpenter's bench with the two dryers. We've got two tanners here. More room in here. You can probably even put a cauldron down right in the corner here because you always need to make your still fire so it'll be a good spot for it but we've got cauldrons here we've got one cauldron there two furnaces there and then if we go on top we've got the other way around we've got two cauldrons and one furnace 
so that's where your little main supply is so if we come around here and we jump into this little room and we go up again because there is another level in here believe it or not and we crouch to get in because we are right on the edge there uh, we got the arc pit and as you can see the arc pit's right up nice close to the roof perfect it's not wasting any space it's just like a level one yard pit really so really good there way out the way and as you can see you got your room up here and plenty of storage for like personal chest or all the good shit you could put up here as well so yeah, definitely good area to store stuff up here but I hope you like that build because it is the first build of many because we are going to go around the map and start building again and we're going to use the whole fence stacking and ceiling stacking in this round so if there's any spots that you want to see me build at uh, make sure to leave a comment below hit the like button if you enjoyed this build make sure you subscribe so you can see the builds coming up and I'm Z Freezone. I hope you guys enjoyed this one stick around for the speed build as I said I'll try and give you some tips in the middle of the speed build as we're going along but it's not a full tutorial it's just something to give you a good idea but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next episode. I wonder where we're going to build. Catch us later. Alright, so let's get to building. So first of all, you want to line up these foundations here so you can have three across on this kind of build right here. And then we're going to do a T, T intersection from one side to the other. Uh, so you'll see what I mean when we go ahead a bit and there'll be a T in section as long as you line up the ends and they fit three on the side and three on the other side and it's perfectly blocking the door uh, you're pretty much right to go but this is going to be the first foundations laid down and this is going to be the straight lines for the rest of the building so try and get this as straight as you can Uh, so once you're at this point in the build, you've done your little main section of the fence stacking. If you want to see how to fence stack, there is a link in the description below, so make sure you check that out. But once you've done the fence stacking, you just want to pick a fence stacking and start spreading it out. And this is called basically copying the fence stacking. So once you put the foundations down, then you can lay the fence, found fence foundations in between them and that will give you your stacking so just go from one side to the other then choose a different fence stack and do the same and just keep copying it all the way out to the ends and eventually you'll have the whole floor fence stacked as you'll see in this video
as you can see here I'm trying to get the foundations to go from one side to the other or nice and even and once we have that nice and even we know we can cover the floor and foundations and there's not like a fence foundation stacking gap in between these foundations this is pretty much just to line everything else up and when you do the foundations from one side to the other and they match uh, make sure you do any excess and you'll be able to make the sides from that line. So once you've got that line down, make sure you have foundations going the opposite way so then you can start that stacking. But this little method here will straighten everything up and make everything on the one uniform foundation width. Which is what you want if you don't want any gaps around the base. So Make sure you, uh, you can do your foundation from one door to the other door and that will help you out in the long run, most definitely.
Now we've got the fence foundation stacks on the other side, the opposite side. As you can see, we've come out like a foundation width, a foundation length out from the building. That's just to give us a bit more support and when we cover the outside with foundations it will match up nicely. So yeah, just keep that in mind when you're building. And that's why we went out a little bit further, a bit more protection. It would be a lot easier to go through the doors than the side walls. Now on the inside here we're not putting the foundations all the way up to the edge, we are doing the fence stacking a bit further inside the building just to give that a little bit more protection. So this is where we start doing the ceiling stacking as you can see you have to make another hole in the ground to open up a little bit and when you put the foundation down you can put the fence foundation just a little bit lower and then you want to do that twice and then the third one will be the next level. So you want to do that four times to get four different levels. So as you can see in this footage that's how we do it. If you want a more direct tutorial make sure you check out the link below we have got a ceiling stacking tutorial video out there so that would be a lot better to follow on with that.
still in the ceiling stacking from here you always want to work from the bottom up so you want to do the bottom first and then come up and that is always going to give you the best result so yeah make sure you go from the bottom up it's a lot easier to do it that way as you can see here uh, it's all about finding the stability with the pillars as you're going around which uh, can be a little bit harder but I reckon build out all the way until there's no stability then start putting temporary pillars down and then when you get into the far corners of the room you can put your permanent pillars down just kind of like gets the pillars out of the way you'll see what I mean with the footage So as you can see here, this is a temporary pillar that we're putting down just so we can spread out a bit further to the edge and then we'll put down the permanent pillars which are those ones there and then we delete these ones.
So at this stage we just want to finish up the roof tiles here and make sure they're covered with foundations. As you do that, you can't put the fence foundations down first, you need to put ceiling and then you can put the fence foundations underneath. So it's a good way to have the fence foundations all the way up against the ceiling. You're wondering how, that, how that's done. It's a good way of doing it anyway.